Hey guys, welcome back to Handbuilt. Today I'm gonna to give you a tour of my two car garage that I converted into a workshop. Really, it can't even fit a car in here because it's not deep enough. So, what's the best thing to do? Put some tools in there and make a workshop. I know it's been a long time since you saw a video from me, but we've been in the process of building a house and selling this house. So, everything's kind of jumbled, but I wanted to get a shop tour before I left this house because my new shop is purpose built just for doing woodworking. I wanna give you a small tour of this place before I leave, and hopefully you can get an idea of how I was working in here. I also have something new that I got right before we made this change. Um, I think you guys are gonna like that. So let's get this tour started, and I'll show you my little shop. All right guys, let's start with this side of the garage, and then we'll work the whole way around in a big circle. Um, because the last thing right here I want to show you guys last because it's the thing I'm most excited about. But so for over here, this is my, my kitchen area of my house. So whenever I come out of my kitchen, uh, we come down the steps and the garage door is straight out. I try to keep this area very clean. That's why a lot of times in the videos you see me working out in my driveway. I'd rather work in the driveway when I'm cutting wood than inside the garage and it's only because I don't like sawdust and I don't have room in here for dust collection. I have a shop vac, but that's about it. So anyway, back to the tour. My, I have a kitchen refrigerator. This is the one that was in my kitchen. We bought a new one whenever we moved in and moved this one out here. This is the one that the previous owners had. Um, nothing wrong with it, it works great. It's just nice to have an extra um, refrigerator out in the garage. We had a deep freezer there and we, we got rid of it because it was, you know, taking up all that, that floor space and it wasn't really helping us out much. So then here I have my Harbor Freight um, toolbox. For, for this, mostly I keep in here like car tools, like socket sets, mechanics tools. There are There is some woodworking stuff inside of there, but it's mostly for my, you know, mechanics tools. Then obviously you see that I have the steps going up into the house. In one of my previous videos, I actually did some pull-out drawers on the bottom of these stairs. They're awesome. They come in handy. Um, I never did put a face frame on them. You just have to watch. These ones stop and lock in place whenever you shut them. Um, that's one of my concerns is them sliding out when someone's walking down the steps. They don't do that. Someone in one of my videos for that commented and said that they'd be worried about that happening. Well, it doesn't happen. Uh, once it's shut, it's shut, and you have to actually give it a tug to get it out. So yeah, check that video out. I'll put it somewhere up here so you guys can check it out and uh, maybe you can build your own. I also forgot to mention I have an attic access here. Uh, it's a pull down staircase. I actually put that in. There was a, a hole there where you could get up in the attic. This is so much more convenient than going in through the little hatch in the house because then you are bringing dust and uh, in fiberglass insulation down through the hallway in the house and I'd much rather bring it into the garage than inside so I don't have a mess. But anyway, so here is the, this is like the bench from hell. This is before, actually, I started this before I started doing YouTube. I had this bench down here made and I had plans to build this top section the whole time. I just never got around to it, but this really comes in handy. I'll definitely have one of these in my new house. I didn't realize how much I needed that until I built it. So over here we have the area where we store our shoes. These are just the Home Depot um, Husky bins. I actually had them hanging on the wall. They have uh, French cleats on the back, but they were kind of in the way, they stuck out from the wall too much, so we just threw them over here to put our shoes in. And then, yeah, let's uh, move around to this side and I'll show you my 220 outlet and my storage cabinets. So this area is pretty awesome. When we moved in, this is like a little nook here and I always wanted to put cabinets here. I bought these cabinets off Marketplace. They're floor cabinets, they're just, they're just uh, MDF cabinets you can buy from like Sears or something. But anyway, I bought those. I painted them with roll-on bed liner, believe it or not. That's the finish that's on here. It's super durable and hard. You can't mess it up. Um, and then I actually floated them off the floor a foot. So the block, where the block came up, I put a piece of wood, like a ledger on there, and I set them on there and then I screwed them 
to the wall. So you can see there, this is the result of getting ready to move, throwing everything inside of there. Yeah, they're screwed to the wall. And then I just put this uh, little top on here. And yeah, you can see I have like all my storage for my uh, spray cans. And then I have three pull out drawers there and then another cabinet. So yeah, it's been really nice having that. It's easy storage. You can throw stuff in there and get it out of the way. That one ended up with all the stuff that I wanted hidden whenever we were gonna list our house. So threw that in there so the, the buyers walked through here and didn't see all that stuff everywhere. But, oh, did I mention there's the 220 outlet that I put in for my welder. On the other side of here is the washer and dryer but I actually have access to this wall from the basement, so I ran uh, the 220 up to there. Let's move on to this side of the garage. So one of the first things I did in this garage was I insulated the garage door. This is before I did YouTube or anything. I bought one inch uh, foam board from Lowe's. I cut it the, the size of these openings on the garage door and I popped them in there. That does make a big difference in the summer and the winter whenever it's really hot or really cold. The garage door doesn't heat up as much. The second thing I did was I epoxied the garage floor. You might recognize this area from one of my other videos. Uh, it's the French cleat storage area. I actually did a part one, part two, and I promised a part three. I never got around to it because I actually didn't do anything else with it. So I was gonna build spots in here for my drills to hook them inside of here. I actually made the PVC sleeves for those. Hang on, I'll show you. I made a bunch of these to screw to like a, a ledger board that had a French cleat on the back. So you could take your drills and your impact guns and put them in there. I'm um, actually have a video making these. Um, I never finished them and I figured I'll keep them for whenever I move to my new house and we'll use them somewhere in there. I'll take you guys along for that journey whenever we get there. But yeah, so my jack stands and everything for like jacking my cars up or down here. Nail guns, jigsaws, impact gun, drill, everything is just thrown in here. I never finished building shelving. I forgot to mention underneath of these cabinets, I have a lot of storage. I have a foot from the floor of space. So I have my jack down there. I have a chainsaw down there. I have parts for this motorcycle down there. I didn't show you guys, but I have an XS650 that I've been working on. It may be featured in one of my uh, upcoming videos probably after I move so yeah I've had this thing for a while I love this bike and I definitely want to get it done it's been sitting around for a while in storage and then it came here and we decided to move so yeah but let's move on to something up up top here that I want to show you guys all right as you can see above my head I like to use overhead storage whenever I can I built this shelf before I started doing YouTube also. I watched some YouTube videos from some of you other guys that built those. I use threaded rods to hold mine up. It's tied in on the sides, on the back, and then I have the two threaded rods that go up in between the trusses. I put a two by four on end and I ran the, the uh, threaded rod up into it and put a uh, bolt, I put a nut at the top. And uh, yeah, it's held everything very well. I have my router table up there. I have a scroll saw, a second welder, a 125 volt welder. I have my insulation board that I use to cut everything with my track saw. So yeah, and I forgot to mention over here, I have a Bora centipede table. That's what I use to break down all my plywood. I, t I bring that thing down, I lay it out here or outside and I use my track saw or I've used my circular saw with a straight edge guide, just cut all that stuff. I have a Bora, I have a Bora straight edge guide that has a clamp on base for it for a circular saw. I don't even use that, I just set it down on there, I clamp it down and then I just run the circular saw alongside it. But I actually got a Makita, miter, or a, a Makita track saw that I really like and I've been using that lately. So yeah, so that's for the storage up top. I completely forgot to show you my bike mount. I actually did a video on this. It was my last video I made. 
I mounted the bikes up here so they were off the floor because they were just in the way like everything else. Yeah, so check that video out. I'll put the card or the link in the description down below. All right, all right, keep your eyes from over that way. Look over this way. I don't want you to see my surprise. This is my miter saw stand. Um, I really, really wanted a built-in miter saw stand, like a bench with cabinets. But my father-in-law had this Bosch miter saw stand, so I ended up getting that from him. I had this miter saw and I just clamped it down there one day because I was tired of moving it around. I actually have a fold out two by, I have a fold out table I'll show you guys here in a minute that I actually used a lot with this, but it didn't have any side support. So basically you had the saw and that was it. So yeah, this table is awesome. I've been able to move it around a lot, get it out of the way. So that's why I like that. And then back here I have, in the corner I have my wood storage all my clamps are back here because i had a i had a mount for my clamps but i ended up wanting it bigger so i took it down that's going to be one thing i'm going to build at the new house i actually have the parts cut out for it and everything i started making a video and then decided to move which is a huge factor in all this i packed it away because i didn't want to build it and then have it in here and then have to take it back off the wall a month later so yeah, all my storage is back here. My table saw is right here. Shout out to my real estate agent, Heidi Crawford. She's awesome. Yeah, so this corner is basically a catch-all. If I can throw it in here and I don't have any room for it somewhere else, it leans against here until I find a place for it. Like uh, all this sheet goods and um, a lot of the a lot of the wood that I had, I got rid of because it was, it looked like a cluttered mess in here. So yeah, that's all I kept and that's all I'm going to keep until I move to the new house. So let's move on this way. I wanted to show you my dual MIG welder. It's a Harbor Freight special. I got it a long time ago. And then right here I have a cabinet. Let me show you. This is just a locker, but I put all my paint goods in here that are flammable, oil base, anything in an aerosol, propane tank, stuff like that I throw inside of here because I don't want it to ignite and not be in a metal container. Um, I'd love to get one of those explosion proof containers, but for now, that's what I got. And then I have French cleats on the wall the whole way across this wall. That was something I did probably after I did the cabinets. I built the French cleats on the wall and I made hangers for them. They're a little outdated. A lot of the hangers have fallen apart from just so much use. I'll show you over here. I have like three ladders hanging on one of them. I'm surprised it hasn't fallen yet. Yeah, they're, they're pretty strong though. So yeah, let's move on to the other side here. I'll show you guys. This is where I throw all my scrap boards that are, you know, a couple feet long. Underneath this sh this cabinet, I built a little cubby so I could throw wood under there. And last but not least, the final wall. The moment you've all been waiting for, or not. So yeah, secrets out, I got a CNC. I got the Shape Oco Pro XXL. It's freaking awesome. I haven't been able to play with it much lately because I've been trying to keep this place clean for the listing viewings. Yeah, I built this table for it out of two by fours and four by four. Yeah, I have a video on that. And then I also have an assembly video where I put this whole thing together. I do want to share that with you guys. I'm, I've been really excited to do it. Just everything's been going on and I haven't had time. But yeah, underneath it here, I want to build all this in and put shelves and cabinets. And I want to put dust collection underneath it here dedicated for this. I actually have four or five sheets of plexiglass back there that I want to build an enclosure over top of this. That's in the works. So I'm going to do that at some point at the new house. I have a couple videos of me um, cutting stuff out on here. I, if you don't know, I have photo booths. I have a photo booth company and I cut out some uh, of the enclosures on this with uh, PVC. 
so that I have some videos of that stuff. Um, I don't have any stuff with wood that I've t captured pictures with lately. I did throw a bunch of MDF up here that I didn't want to get rid of that was against the wall and I didn't want to get wet. So that's why there's MDF up here. And then over here we have my Delta planer. Uh, this is a wood planer I bought from an older gentleman that was getting out of woodworking. Um, it actually, the clamp was broke. I didn't know it till I got home, but the clamp was broke and I had to, to JB weld it back together. It's holding good now and uh, it works great. I have my thickness planer down there. I have a vac master professional shop vac, another shop vac back behind it that I got in an auction uh, that I don't really have a need for, but I got it in case my air compressor. And then I just have a, a box of random stuff that I was hiding from uh, my people coming to, to buy my house. So yeah, then let's move on to my overhead storage. I have the three, three shelf or three tier wood storage that hangs on the wall. I have a six tier one up there, but uh, that's going to go in the new house. I didn't even put it in here because I would have had to tear some of my French cleats off. I actually took one French cleat off to put that up. And then you have my French cleat wall. You see that I have a bicycle hanging here, all my extension cords, some four dot camping chairs, just miscellaneous stuff. I've had so much stuff up and down off of here through the years. I had my table saw hanging on here at some point. So yeah, it's just uh, plywood cut at 45 degrees if you don't know what a French cleat is. And it's screwed into all the studs, the whole way across. And yeah, at the price of plywood right now, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do this at the new house right away, but I do like that idea. Here's one thing I wanted to show you guys, if I can get it out without knocking these ladders down. I made one of these fold out workbenches. Then you put the top on, on here, which I have over there. I don't want to dig it out right now. And it's just made out of two by fours and some plywood. So, but this is what I had my miter saw sitting on until I got the miter saw stand, which was sketchy because the miter saw was up here and I couldn't hold the wood flat and it was hanging off the edge and there's no support for it. But this thing's awesome. It just folds back up like this and each other. And then you wheel it to wherever you want it or hang it on the wall, which I had it hanging on the wall at some point too. But there it is. That's that. What else can I show you guys? That's about it guys. That's my, my garage. If you have any questions about anything you saw here, uh, definitely give me a shout out on. Oh, one thing I forgot. Here's one of my outlets. I have a pull down cord reel that I, I have up there on the ceiling. That gets me to anywhere in the garage I need to be. I actually ran my CNC off it and it was fine. But yeah, that's one of the only outlets I have. I only have another one over here on the back wall. All right, at this time, uh, I think you've seen everything in my garage. Oh, I don't have any yard stuff in here and I can show you why with this video right here. y'all are wondering why I have a lot of room in my garage and I don't have yard equipment or anything in there, I'm going to show you what I did. As you can see, my lawnmower and everything is in this little shed I built. There's room for multiple weed eaters. I have them hanging up there. My gas cans, my push mower, 
all my hoses and garden supplies, pressure washer, and weed eater, the Troy Bolt trim and mow kind. And when you're done, you just close these doors. This one has a lip on it. When you close it, there's a down drop to lock it in place. Prop out. All right, let's get back to the garage tour, guys, because that's what you really came for, right? All right, you guys back. You saw my little shed I have in the backyard. Um, yeah, that's where I keep all my yard stuff to keep it tidy in here. I think you guys are really going to like the shop at my new house. It is... It's a three-car garage with a, the third bay is uh, actually walled off for woodworking. So all my dust collection, everything will be proprietary to that room. I won't have dust floating between the bays where we park our cars. Where my, I, have a, I have a little boy and he likes to play in the garage and I don't want to have him playing in the sawdust. So I have the two bays for him just to play around in, ride his bike, play basketball inside, stuff like that. Thanks for seeing everything. And I will put some links in the description for some of my tools and stuff you saw here today. Um, some of the videos that I referenced of the stuff I built in here, uh, I'll put those links in the description. And yeah, as always, thanks for checking my stuff out and uh, come back again, subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys around. Take care y'all.